schemas are structures you can use to define the requirements for data in a given variable. They allow you to improve consistency when collecting information from a user in natural language. In this video, I'll show you how to create a schema and use it to improve consistency when collecting information from a user. First, I'll use the schema menu to create a brand new schema. I'll click this plus icon to create my new schema and I'll call it something informative, like user information. By default, BotPress provides you with some default settings for a schema. In this case, it'll look for and store information like name, age, email, and address. If I wanted to add a new piece of information to store in the schema, it's as simple as adding a new line. In this case, let's say I want to know whether or not this chatter is a student. Here, I'll use the following notation, and I'll note that it's a Boolean variable because there are only two possible options, yes or no. And now, my schema will store the following pieces of information. Next, let's go ahead and use that schema. Now that it's created, when I create a new variable from the variables panel, as my variable type, I'll be able to select that schema we just created. I'll call this something like user info. And now, whenever my variable is in use, instead of storing name, age, email, address, and student status in separate variables, my bot will be able to store all of that information in a single variable. This helps keep your workflows nice and tidy. Next up, let's actually store some information in that schema. To do this, I'll use an AI task, which I'll place right below my capture card. In this example, I'm just asking my user to give me some information about themselves. Note that I'm not being too prescriptive here, because I'm expecting to receive a natural language response. In the AI task, what I wanted to do is extract the relevant information and store it in the schema. So for my task instructions, I'll write something like, extract from the user input information like name, age, email, address, and student status. Store the results in the variable workflow.userInfo. For the AI task input, I just want to put the user's most recent message. In this case, that'll be stored in event.preview. And I'll save the results to a variable called userInfo. Remember, this is the variable that uses our schema to validate the kind of information that it contains. Now that everything is set up, let's test it out. In order to verify that this is working, first, I'm going to send the information contained in the schema in its own message. Then, to make sure this is working even further, I'll also isolate a specific piece of information. Let's say I just want the value of the user's age. In this case, I'll use the following notation to isolate that information. Now, all that's left is to test it out. I'll send a message to my bot, and here, in the information I'm going to give it, I'll say something like, my name is Robert Soup, I'm 110 years old, and I am not a student. And let's see what happens. So the variable's captured, the AI task runs, and let's take a look at what we have here. We see only the relevant information was extracted from my schema, the student status was correctly identified from natural language, and we've correctly isolated the age here. Pretty cool. Happy bot building.